from Thundercloud here in the Australian Poetry Hall of Fame, washing away the garbage, leaving rainbows after rains. And today I'm going to read to you one of Charles Harper's poems, A Midsummer's Noon in the Australian Forest. Charles Harper was one of the first settler-born poets here in Australia in 1811, and he died in 1868. A Midsummer's Noon in the Australian forest. Not a sound disturbs the air. There is quiet everywhere. Over plains and over woods, what a mighty stillness broods. All the birds and insects keep where the coolest shadows sleep. Even the busy ants are found resting in their pebbled mound. Even the locust clingeth now silently to the barky bough. Over hills and over plains, quiet, vast and slumbrous reigns. Only there's a drowsy humming from yon warm lagoon, slow coming the dragon, hornet, sea, all bedorbled resplendently. Yellow on a tawny ground, each rich spot, not square nor round, rudely heart-shaped, as it were, the blurred and hasty impress there, of a meal-crusted seal dusted o'er with golden meal, only there's a droning where yon bright beetle shines in air, tracks in its gleaming flight with a slanting beam of light rising in the sunshine higher till its shards flame out like fire every other thing is still save the ever wakeful rill whose cool murmur only throws cooler comfort round repose or some ripple in the sea of leafy boughs where lazily tired summer in her bower turning with the noontide hour heaves a slumberous breath here she once more slumbers peacefully oh tis easeful here to lie hidden from noon's scorching eye in this grassy Cool recess, musing thus of quietness. A Midsummer's Noon in the Australian Forest by Charles Harper. And if you like that, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here to the Australian Poetry Hall of Fame for more updates on new poetry being uploaded all the time. I'll see you later.